In today's video, we're going to be covering different types of networks. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell down below for more videos like this one. Now let's begin. We use technology so much in our day-to-day -day lives that we often take for granted what's really happening within the network. We're going to build a network today, and we're going to start with a local area network and build out from there. Now let's discuss a LAN and a WLAN. A LAN is a local area network, and a WLAN is a wireless local area network. Now to explain how a WLAN is different from a LAN, let's think about what we have for a network in our own homes. For example, in my house, my family and I have a few devices that are hardwired into a switch. These include a few desktop computers, an access point, a PlayStation console, just to name a few. This is an example of a local area network, or a LAN. Because these devices are connected by Ethernet cables, they're considered members of a LAN. Now let's think about our wirelessly connected devices. In our house, we have a few laptops, a printer, a few smartphones and tablets. These are all part of our WLAN, or our wireless local area network. Because these devices are using wireless communication to create a local area network, they make up my WLAN. In summary, a wireless LAN is a LAN that doesn't require cables to access the internet. Makes sense, right? A CAN, or a campus area network, is a network that connects two or more LANs together within a limited area. For example, a university with multiple buildings on a single campus would form a CAN. Each building has its own LAN, and when you connect each of those buildings, it becomes a campus area network. Now what happens when you build out from there? Let's say we have a school district that has multiple buildings throughout a town or a city. Each school has its own LAN and WLAN, but each building is connected to each other with some sort of high-speed connection. In this case, let's assume the school district is using fiber optic cables to connect those buildings to allow them to share data across those different networks. This type of network is called a MAN, or a Metropolitan Area Network. Don't worry, if you aren't familiar with what a fiber optic cable is, we're going to cover that in a separate section. For now, imagine that the schools are connected with a high-speed physical connection that can connect your network over many kilometers. Lastly, we have our largest type of network. A WAN, or a wide area network, is a network that's spread across a large geographical area. It could be a town, a city, a state, or across multiple countries. A WAN is made up of LANs, CANs, and MANs. A great example of a WAN is the internet. WANs can be either public or private, and both have pros and cons. A public WAN is a cheaper option, it's easier to implement, but it lacks the security of a private WAN, and it may have reliability issues since you have no control over prioritization. A private WAN has uncompromised security and allows you to prioritize traffic to avoid transmission issues, but it can be costly, complex, and it may require specialized staff to manage. Speaking of security, let's discuss VPNs or virtual private networks. A virtual private network is a network of devices that isn't connected through any physical resources. There's no distance maximum or distance minimum on a VPN, they're just simply connected through the internet. For example, you may need to install a VPN client onto your laptop to connect to your school or work's private network. The VPN is going to create a secure connection or an encrypted tunnel across a public internet connection, providing you with an additional layer of security to protect your private data. I'll give you an analogy. Let's pretend we live on an island, and the water's the internet. The ocean can be very dangerous, as you know, since it's completely open and we're vulnerable to threats. We need to get to a neighboring island to access some sort of um, resource or a family member, who knows. Now imagine if we had a speedboat or a submarine that could provide us with a fast and a safe way to get to the islands around us. We'd obviously do that, right? That's exactly what a VPN provides you. Hopefully this has given you a better idea of the different components that make up a network and how they build off one another. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell down below. And don't forget, advancing with us is advancing your future. Have a good one.